Hi, this is Steve Rothstein of Rothstein Model Trains, showing you our latest acquisitions. Um, got these locomotives for two reasons. One is that the AC4400 has always been one of Chris's favorite lo modern locomotives. And the other is that I was looking for some Kansas City Southern to Mexico uh, locomotives. I've seen them go through in Luling lately. Uh, within the past year or so, saw a couple the other night as a matter of fact, and I started looking for them because I've been trying on the modern ones to get anything that I see passed through my hometown. Someone finally came out, Cato finally came out with these AC 4400s, and you'll see that they're the KCS de Mexico livery. We're going to take them out for the first time. I opened the boxes so you could see them through the box when we uh, did the opening shot but they are brand new locomotives to us the uh, AC 4400 was built between the mid 1900s and the mid 2000s for about 10 year, years but they are still in use they were upgraded to the 6000 this is a 4400 uh, horsepower locomotive And let's see what we've got on these. Do it on this side first. Okay. We've got that locomotive running around pulling the cleaner to get the track clean. So what's that number? 4555? Five, five, five? Yeah, 4555 five, 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 and 4554. Five, five, okay. So that works, has the light on. You can see now if the light switches properly. Take the back light, come on. And it does back up and switch the lights properly. So let's try some sound. We're going through the startup. And when we back up, we've got a row of coal cars that we're going to try and hook onto and see how these are full. One of my other locomotives that we tested recently. There's a comment that it doesn't pull very well, and we're going to test these now to make sure that they do pull. Do you hook? I didn't think it would hook that quickly. And Now we're going to see how they pull. Well, I'm going to see how they pull. Come on, quick. That one's still in reverse. There you go. So we haven't matched them or speed matched them or anything. We're going to see how they go just from the factory like that.
at least on the flat ground, they're pulling a decent sized frame together. Is that 32? Well, looks like we can't show you how well it pulls. We're having some coupler problems. I don't know if it's the locomotive or the coal cars on the train it was pulling. I've noticed that the coal cars before will break apart in the middle of the train and have trouble cu uh, coupling to non Cato locomotives. Of course, these are Cato locomotives, so we shouldn't have any problem with them. But I've got to check the height and make sure that everything's matching up right and then see if we can figure out why it's pulling the part. Other than that, the locomotives are running and run fine. They're not pulling apart and they consist, even though we haven't speed matched them. So we'll have to get them programmed. We will get them matching all our others at um, 100 for the freight locomotives. But that's what we got this week. As always, I thank everyone for their interest and support, and I'll see you next time we do it. Thanks. Uh, and in an unusual way, I've managed to get it working here. But putting some of the other Cato regular freight cars in between. And helping out with all the different height differences and spring differences. Got both of these trains running at full throttle. We can get it to make it up the full hill this time without any disconnects as the elevation changes. Looking good, not seeing any slowdown. A little bit of slowdown. But nah, there it goes. Perfect. No disconnects. And now we can end with a happy video. Have a great day, everybody.